Hey, good afternoon. Carl Burns, pastor at Church of Our Savior, welcoming you here to Twos this week at Our Savior. This is September 24th, 2020. Uh, this is our third edition, so we're glad you've tuned in, and we just ask that you maybe even invite somebody to share um, uh, in our uh, weekly news magazine, if it will. Um, as a reminder, we're all about our mission and vision, our mission of connecting to Christ and community. And in that, we want to make disciples who make disciples. Our focus is on families. Our focus is on neighbors. And our focus is on becoming that city on a hill that attracts people as well as sends people out to do the ministry God's given us to do. If that excites you, and I don't know why it shouldn't, if that's something you want to be a part of, and again, I pray that it will be, we invite you to follow us on all of our social channels. Uh, you can go to our website, Our Savior SC. You can connect with us on that website. You can join a team. You can learn more about us. Um, again, OurSaviorSC.com. There's also several buttons there about prayer. There's several buttons about support. It's really easy if, to, to help us, no matter where you are, whether you're here on the islands or wherever you may be, to support us in our ministry. There's even a donate button there that you can press to do that. Well. Let's talk about some of the events that we've got coming up. We want to remind you that our new communion pickup time uh, for, is Wednesday and Thursday from 1 to 5. Come by and pick up. Um, they're sealed on both sides, the bread and the wine. Um, for those of you taking it home, it will be pre-consecrated, and we ask that you hold on to those until we have our service. And at the appropriate time, and I will tell you when it is, we'll partake of that bread and wine so that whether, again, you're here celebrating with us or at home, we are the church and we are celebrating this Eucharistic service together. So come by uh, Wednesday, Thursday from 1 to 5 and pick up your communion so that you can celebrate with us. A reminder, if you're going to be with us, uh, we're following some uh, pretty uh, stringent safety guidelines uh, to keep everybody safe um, as we go through this. Uh, we ask that you wear a mask. Uh, we ask that you uh, observe social distancing. Um, and, and for right now, uh, we're not going to have congregational singing. Um, we're going to keep that for a while longer just to make sure everything is safe. And as we proceed out, uh, through uh, the situation we're in, uh, we'll, we'll just monitor and adjust as it goes. We ask that you bring your hand sanitizer. We do have some here. Um, and we just want you to know that we're doing everything we can so you can come and concentrate on the one thing you should concentrate on, and that's worship. We have something special that I'm, I'm asking your help for. You know, as we, as we go into Ezra and we read about the church being replanted, we see this massive involvement of everybody. Everybody had something to give. Everybody had something to do. All from the highly skilled masons all the way down. And they, they even lowered the age of people who could work and who could be part of the rebuilding of the church. And so as we come together, as we return, as we rebuild, as we recommit, I need your help. We are reconstituting our worship team. And um, with that idea of team, we're going to actually hold a tryout. Now, I know that makes you nervous, but don't worry about it. Everybody makes a team. Congratulations. You don't have to do anything special. You just have a heart to willing to serve and to worship the Lord. And if everybody pitches in, the, the, the burden is so much less, and we want to involve as many people as we can in our worship team. Uh, October the 11th, after the service, we're going to meet again uh, with all safety protocols and talk about how you can be a member of a team, whether it's a reader or a greeter or working with our tech team upstairs or helping set up and take down the altar. We have made things as simple as we can. It's a step-by-step -step process, and uh, there's no reason in the world why you can't be a part of this team and help us shine the light of Christ into the lives of those either in person or at home. So join us and become a member of the team. You've already made the tryout. You might as well come in and play and have a great time.
And in our worship service, we're going to continue uh, our second part of our sermon series about rebuilding, uh, I'm sorry, returning, rebuilding, and recommitting. It's a sermon series on Ezra and Nehemiah. If you're watching this this week, it's a reminder that the focus of the sermon is going to be on chapters 2 and 3 in Ezra. So I invite you to read those and to pray through those. If, if you're in a small group, you've already had discussion about those. Um, um, but I, I invite you again, uh, the, the scriptures were meant to read and to mark and to inwardly digest. So I invite you to read those and then tune in Sunday. Um, our service times at 8.30, there is a traditional service uh, that is both in person here in the parish hall as well as on our social media platforms. Uh, we invite you to tune in. If you want to come a little later, uh, or you're more interested in a contemporary service, we have a 10 o'clock in-person service here that's streamed live. Um, and again, we want to invite you to be a part of the sermon series, to invite you to be part of the church and partake in the body and blood of Christ with us as we become one. Um, just a little sneak peek, chapter 3, verse 1, says that they returned as one man. They returned in that unity, and that's how we're going to gather and worship this Sunday. Let me say that it's really important to be part of a community. Um, if you're not part of a small group, let us know. We'd love to plug you in to a small group. And if you're feeling alone, if you're feeling isolated, we just ask you, reach out. Give us a phone call. Shoot us a text. Um, come by. Knock on the door. We'd be glad to spend some time with you. Contact us. Let us know. Well, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you share this news with your neighbor. And I hope you tune in to us as we have our worship services again. 8.30 this Sunday, 10 o'clock this Sunday. And now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And if His Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen.